I'm Dr. Janine Krauss, and I'm here today to talk about Are Beans Healthy? So they've gotten kind of a bad rap lately because of the paleo stuff, and you know, let's face it, you eat too many of them and they definitely do revolt on you. You get a little gas, you get a little bloating. They're not the musical fruit for nothing. So how do you look at beans and go, all right, do, should I eat them, should I not, what happens? Well, most of us will feel good when we're not eating beans for a little while. But let's face it, they're kind of yummy and they have a great nutrient profile. They have a lot of fiber, they have protein, they have iron, and they have a great amount of B vitamins. So I don't want to necessarily ditch them from my diet. One of the best ways to add beans into your diet is to do it slowly. I recommend taking a tablespoon at a time, almost like your daily dosage of beans. And so one day you have a tablespoon and you do that for a week. The next day you go up to two tablespoons. And you do this every week, increasing until you get to one half of a cup. That's where I stop. One half a cup is actually the true portion of a cooked amount of beans. Most of us tend to overdo it a little bit, and that could be why we have difficulty processing all those beans. Another way that can help you to get those beans in is to make sure if you're using canned beans, of course you use a type that has a BPA-free lining, but also that you rinse them really well. I recommend rinsing them three to five times before you actually throw them in the pot to cook them up. Also, if you put them in with a soup, that helps to get those outer linings of the beans that have a bunch of lignans that are hard for us to break down kind of softened up a little bit for us. So crock pot soups or soups that you simmer for quite some time, those help for, for your digestion of beans. The other way to help with bean digestion is to add in certain spices, such as ginger or fennel, into your recipes so that these seeds, these amazing little spicy seeds, can help you to break down food. Now granted, ginger is a root, so I retract that statement, but ginger helps you to break down foods as well. And so a great thing you can add in to help you with your bean digestion. So now that you know, you can kind of work through your digestive system and train it to be able to tolerate certain foods. Same thing goes with grains, and I'll talk about that in a later lecture. But for now, start working on those beans and go one tablespoon at a time with the beneficial bacteria and see how you do. I'm Dr. Janine Krauss, and this is a lecture on beans.